video. This one's a double pager. This one is so simple, so there's not a lot of techniques involved with this one because I started off with a mixed media base page. So all I did is I picked out this 8x8 stencil out of my collection. Where I got it from, I have absolutely no idea. I have had it for ages, but I like it because it's a it's a, um, a repetitive pattern. So you can sort of use it and then move it across and you can carry the pattern across. So today I decided to go sort of turn it on a, on its end. So it's more like a diamond shape because I'm not actually taking the ink all the way out to the very edges. So as you can see, it's, it's in a diamond shape-esque, but I haven't actually taken it out to the borders. So I've just lined up that corner so it's lined up in one of the circles and I do come back, don't stress, I do come back. This is not your video playing up, this is me. I had to do something then. Um, so I'm using Distress Oxide Pumice Stone to do this bit and then I do come in with a little bit of black soot because I wanted to give, I don't want any depth on this page. I say this all the time. Sometimes I need, as much as I put as much, I love texture and I love depth. Um, how do I explain? Like foam tape and, you know, like raising bits and pieces up and down. And as much as I absolutely love doing that, we do need some pages in our album to appear to have texture but don't actually aren't, don't have any raised up bits on them because otherwise our albums would be let's be frank that we would need seven gazillion albums to be able to put all this together because at the end of the day I scrap at least six layouts a week and most of those layouts generally have a little bit of foam tape here and there I do use a little bit under the title on this one but over the entire two pages, I don't sort of raise up photos and that sort of thing. This particular occasion was just a family fun day. It wasn't celebrating anything. It was just we went to Aussie World. If you're not from Queensland and if you're not from Australia, Aussie World is a... It's just up the road from me. And... <coughs> excuse me. It is... It's like a, I liken it to, so all the big theme parks that are down the Gold Coast, like Dreamworld and SeaWorld and Movie World, all of those, they're on steroids, right? So I liken those to your royal shows, you know, like your Eka and your, you know, your Royal Easter show in Sydney and all that sort of thing, right? Now... Aussie World is like, it's a little bit better, but it's like comparing your Royal Easter show to a local show, you know. Um, in America, I imagine it's probably quite similar to, um, you know, like one of your fairs. So you have, you have like a, Actually, I have absolutely no idea what you would compare it to in America. I've never been to America and I'm stabbing in the dark. So I will stop surmising. But that's what it is in Australia. So I have cut out my title and I've run over it with Distress Oxides. I used Warm Lipstick and Wild Honey. Now, what you saw me do there is spray it with my misting spray. And if you want to know what that bottle is, I have a link for it over in my Facebook group. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that, but it just shows you where I bought it from. I have had a couple of people say to me that they've clicked on the link and it's sold out. There is about 15 different types of them on um, Amazon AU. So Amazon in general, they, they have all these. It's just a the one I bought is for hair, but they also use them for oil in the kitchen as well. So it's really good. It just gives you a really fine mist and it sort of allows me to not over wet things. So I, I'm, because I don't like using a lot of gesso on things. So 
it minimizes how much water I spray on my pages. So what I did there is I sprayed over the title and just lifted a little bit of the ink off. It created texture because I used my paper towel that's got like waves, really deep grooves of waves in there. In there. And um, so it created a little bit of extra texture on there. But I do end up raising up my title because this page, this is the most simplest page that I've, 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 I can't say that I've ever done, but it's one of those that the photos kind of, the photos are it. Like I didn't really want to create too much drama. I wanted it to be about the photos because it used so many photos. Sometimes I over, overthink the artwork side of things and I prefer to do that on pages where I've got maybe one photo or two photos then I can go to town with the artwork. But sometimes when we just need to, you need to have somewhere in your photo album where you, you, you turn and go, oh, okay, the photos, yep, okay, oh yeah, that was Aussie World, yep, radio, and you keep going, you know. Um, that's Well, that's how I look at my albums. Now, I have never, ever, ever done this on a page, but I had someone ask me, one of my subscribers asked me to do it on the edge of a photo the other day. And I thought, you know what, this particular paper, which is 49th and Market Spectrum Sherbet Classics, it's called Butterfly Flight. I will have that written all in the description below in case you're wanting to get your hands on it. It is beautiful. And it was beautiful before I even put the stenciling on. But the reason I put the stenciling on is because I wanted to create just a little bit more drama in the background. Now, if you pull out an emery board or a nail file or whatever to do that to your paper, beware, it's quite messy. It's very messy. Like dusty is probably the better word. So see how the stenciling, once you put the photos on top, it's there, but it's not in your face. That's what I wanted. I just wanted a little bit of extra so that it didn't look like blue, green, yellow, pink. Like, I didn't want it to look stripy. I wanted that to sort of... And now by having the stenciling, it sort of waves a little bit, if that makes sense. That's what I wanted it to do. I didn't want it to be... And I didn't even back these photos. I cut their white borders, so they were all the same white borders. And I didn't mount them on cardstock or anything. I didn't put any tissue paper or tracing paper. Actually, I haven't used tracing paper for a bit. I might do that today. So I, yeah, so I added my, this, I've said this on the last couple of videos, these strips, I get them from eBay, they do take a while to come, but these are the best sticky strips ever. Now I did get some sticky dots and they're scrapbook adhesive um, and I bought those from Crazy Crust. Crazy Craft Obsession, and they were really, really cheap for what you get and how good they are. They, they were really good. So, yeah, so if you're in the market for some foam squares or, you know, if you're not, if you're not wanting to use, you know, your sheets of foam squares, you know, your foam, um, your fun foam is what I'm trying to, I'm looking at it and I'm trying to will the word into my mouth. <laughs> it's first thing in the morning here and my kids, I've just got my kids off to school, my husband off to work and I came in and thought, right, I have to do this voiceover before I can start creating. And I had such a headache yesterday and I created this layout while I had a headache and it's kind of, I should not work when I have I'm okay. I do get migraines occasionally and I'll be honest, I haven't had one for donkey's yonks and which is fantastic. I absolutely love the fact that I haven't had one because they usually send me to bed for three days. So um, I've, I've done really well, but had an iron infusion earlier in the week, long story, but um, yeah. And this particular time, I get them all the time. Don't panic. It's nothing over the top for me 
and when I have the um, the iron infusion, when I had it this time, I so, for some reason, I literally got the list of side effects. The whole lot happened to me. So I don't know whether that's a side effect of something else that I've had or maybe it's the big C. Maybe it's got something to do with that. I don't know. And I don't mean cold. I think we all know what I mean. The big old... The big old C. Let's hope we are on the back end of seeing that. It seems to have gone to the to the underground with the news. They're not really reporting anything about it at the moment. And we're not hearing anything from overseas. So I'm hoping that it's all good and everyone's coming out the other side of this damn pandemic. Glad we don't have one of these every other week. Okay, so what I'm sprinkling all over here, I'm trying to do tone on tone and I've got these little tiny sprinkly bits. They are Doodlebug Design ink and they're called Shape Sprinkles. I've got Winter Hugs and Rainbow Hearts. They're all hearts and I'll be honest with you, I don't use these very often. I prefer a wet medium. I don't use them very often so I thought, you know what, I'm going to tone on tone to add my shiny bits onto this page instead of using a wet medium like um, stickles or one of my stickles pastes or something like that. I'm going to sprinkle these little hearts all over and because what else is there to say? I love these photos. I love the day. So I just went to town with these hearts and I didn't care how many I used because they've been in my collection for quite a while and why not you know I'm I I think what I've done is I'll, I'll explain what I've done I tried to scrap like other people that I was seeing on YouTube with the little bits and the little um the the little uh, you know the tuck in bits and the little clusters and all that sort of thing with the stickers and all that and that's just not how I scrap. Did you see on my pen thing? <laughs> I could not find my silver paint. It's my Posca paint pen and it was my silver one. And I wanted to do writing on the page, but I wanted it to sort of fade into the background. I didn't want it to pop out. So I didn't want to use black. So I used silver, which is fine. And I'm just writing up the side of each photo what it was. And... Um, Again, journaling before I've taken photos. Shock horror. So, yeah. So what I was saying is I, I thought that I would try and scrapbook like other people instead of myself. And I ended up purchasing ephemera and these little tiny stickers and all that sort of stuff. And you know what? That's just not me. That's not me. That's not how I scrap. So I will endeavour to please ignore my chihuahua. I am nearly finished this voiceover and this is the third attempt. I'm just going to ignore my, my dog and hopefully you can ignore my dog as well. So she, she, would, she literally barks at the moment at Christmas beetles. We have Christmas beetles appearing in Queensland already and it's only the 14th of October and... Those little suckers, they're turning up early this year. I wonder if we'll get any... Do you... Okay, for all my overseas people, do you have Christmas beetles? Because we have what we call Christmas beetles. And next time I see one, I'll take a photo and pop it in the Facebook group. Um, and they come in. They usually don't turn up until the weather warms up. Today is going to warm up here, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, they're, they're like a little hard beetle. They don't hurt you. They don't do anything. They literally, I don't even know what they eat. They little tiny, they've got furry little legs on them and they hang on to, they're, they're cute little things. And we usually have ones that are, their little wings are like metallic so there's brown ones. I assume it's a male-female thing. That's what I'm guessing. But there's brown ones that are just all brown. 
And then there's ones that are sort of like a beige with a metallic coating. And they're quite reflective. They're so pretty. They really are. And they're out already in my southern state. One, if you're overseas, so I did put a post up on Facebook this morning. So my people in Minnesota and North Carolina and where are we? Hang on. I'm going to... Okay, so I've got Adelaide, Victoria, Queensland... Connecticut, Connecticut, and I'm trying to literally, okay, where am I? Um, yeah, so do you guys have Christmas beetles over there? You might call them something different, but, um, and Jupiter, Florida, Oakfield, New York, Columbia, South Carolina. Tasmania. I'm not even sure if we have them in Tassie. I imagine you would. So yeah, there's Christmas beetles and that's what my dog's barking at. I know, sorry, I squirreled down a rabbit hole then, but um, that's what she barks at because they, when they, their little wings go and when they land, they land with a bit of a thud. Well, my chihuahua is she has radar ears, man. She can hear a noise from a block away and start barking at it. we got no clue what it is. And these Christmas beetles this year, she seems to have taken a shine to barking at them. So, we're going to have a fun festive time. I think not. But that's okay. Alright, so all I'm doing with my Posca paint pen, while I went down that little rabbit hole, squirrel, squirrel, um, I'm just going around, not all of the stencil, but just some of it, just to add a little bit of shimmer to the page. I was going to pull out some of my mica sprays and I'm like, no, I'm going to do something different. So this is, it just makes it pop and it's in the background, but yeah. So I did think about it. Now this is me thinking, stopping, thinking and just don't touch. Leave it alone. So, because sometimes less is more. So this is my layout, guys. Now, I did come in with a bit of black soot and a stamp. Now, can you see? It's a word stamp. And I'm doing second generation stamping on it. But I, I'm not using the whole stamp. I've folded it in half. And it's got a bit of cursive script on it. Just to add a bit more dark back in the background so this is my layout if you are new to my channel welcome please like subscribe subscribing is free liking is free and leave me a comment let me know where you're from um, and let me know if you have Christmas beetles in your neck of the woods so um, I, usually, I, I put up six videos a week and I do chuck in a double page layout every so often. I generally like doing single page layouts and I do make mini albums but I don't video those because I don't know, I reckon it would be pretty boring to watch. But I like doing layouts. So I am just about finished and that is about it. So if you haven't already subscribed consider subscribing and that way you'll get notification every time I do a layout and load it up and if you are already subscribed thank you so much for watching and I will chat to you soon bye for now